Okay, so we're going to start this roster review series and we're going to be looking at Helix. So Helix has got Papa Palpatine in Arena, no Zeta. Uh, we've got a double Zeta Vader, we've got Nihilus, Bastila Fallen and Scion. And then we've got a Fleet Arena team with Thai Silencer, we've got First Order Thai Pilot, I believe that is at a glance, and Kylo's Command Shuttle all run under Tarkin. Uh, he represents Space Invaders out from HAL. So, uh, okay, that's a new guild name to me. Let's have a look at the roster then. Okay, interesting top end. So we've got a Relic 7 Kylo Ren on Mask. We've got a Relic 6 Kylo Ren, uh, double and single Zeta. We've got Vader at Gear 12, as we've seen. Uh, First Order Executioner and First Order Officer at Gear 12, and then Phasma with the Zeta at Gear... I'm thinking that is 9? Or is it 8? I really need to see these gear rings a bit better, but... Yeah, we're not talking high gear on the Phasma. Okay, so after that we're looking at Hook Zeta, that is interesting. Uh, Hunter, that looks like Gear 10 with the Zeta. Django at Gear 11. When was Chewbacca at gear 9? That's a heavy investment. Uh, gear 10 first order TIE pilot. Gear 9, I would like to say Sith Trooper. Uh, gear 8, uh, is it gear 8? I think it might be gear 8 uh, Darth Sion. Then, let's see, gear 8 special forces TIE pilot. Okay, so some interesting stuff to look at. I mean, we've got Echo there as well, 3 star but gear 10, Grandmaster Yoda at gear 11, okay so some interesting choices. Um, so it does look like from a quick glance that there's a heavy first order focus. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go faction by faction, but we're going to start with first order. So I'm looking at this, we've got 10 unlocked, we've got 5, 6, seven at seven star and those that aren't at seven star are at six six and five so i'm looking at this and i'm thinking that arena team that we saw with papa palpatine that would that will be doing a lot worse than what kylo ren kylo ren unmasked general hooks arguably sith trooper and one of execution or first order officer would do simple reason being if we go back a page 14, 1458 in arena. I would, I would guess that a first order team would do far more than that, especially when using a two star Bastille Sean Fallen. So that would be my first piece of advice. I would say use first order in arena. You will climb, maybe not markedly better, but quite a bit better. Okay, so let's just have a look at your factions, just see if you've built anything up, because based on this I'm going to have a stab in the dark and say that you've had a hyperdrive bundle. So if that's the case we've got a 6 star Rex, 5 star Fives, uh 5 star Echo, 5 star Ahsoka, and you've got Arc up to 4 star, so if you decide to go for the clones you have got some early investment there. Uh, let's move down, because we've seen you've got some investment in the Bad Batch already. Um, Hunter's got his Zeta, Echo, uh, Gear 10, Tech is at Gear 8, I believe that is. Uh, I'm going to say the same about Omega and the same about Wrecker. So it looks like with these, maybe you're just trying to save on the Karatex. That would be my guess. So I'm a little bit curious why you're doing this, but it maybe you need a light side team, I don't know. But anyway, let's just move on. Any bounty hunters? You should have some from the hyperdrive. Uh, you got the Mandalorian at five star. That's quite good. You've worked on your Bosque as well, so that's a good investment. Um, if you've gone for Django, I assume that I, I don't think Django is part of the hyperdrive bundle, so I'm assuming you've gone for him. And if that's the case, then you'll also be getting Bosk. Well, you should be getting Hound's Tooth Shard, so that means you've got a ship ready for Bosk. So I would work on Bosk, I would try and get him geared up, try and get him, well just get him capable of piloting the ship. So ideally you want him level 85, gear 11 so that you've got all the abilities on Hound's Tooth as a minimum. Um, so yeah, I'd make giving Bosk some gear a priority, at least as far as ships go. So I'm going to skip Clone Troopers, we've seen all them via 5 or 1st and Bad Batch. Um, let's go to your droids. 
you put a bit of investment into Dark Trooper. Uh, Chopper's 7 star. BB 8 7 star, which with your first order, I'm not surprised. R2 D2 7 star, so that means you've got eight, uh, Empire tunes built up. Okay, some interesting stuff. General Grievous at 5 stars, I think. Okay, we can work with that. I think just keep grabbing them shards when you see them. Uh, T3, if you're going for Old Republic at some point. Definitely worth getting anything you can with that, but obviously if it's not a priority, don't force it. Okay, moving along, let's go to your empire. Okay, Vader we've seen, gear 12, very nice, that probably could have carried you through the R2 event quite easily. Um, Emperor Palpatine, again, quite good, I'm going to say you just need 5 rebels. Um, Death Trooper, Storm Trooper and who would be, yeah you've got Snow Trooper at 7, so they'd be the Empire you used to get R2 I would imagine. Uh, Thrawn at level 53 and 5 star, that tells me you've got, you've used your Phoenix at least. Um, whether you're building up is another story. Okay, so let's just move on from Empire a moment. Any Ewoks? No, your Ewoks are all babies. A uh, big piece of advice I will give to anyone who's doing a new account, whenever you see low grey in the guild store, farm him. So right now, I'm seeing no low grey. Just my biggest piece of advice, low grey can be the biggest draw on you if you want him. So yeah, always get low grey shards. It can be a case of you, you don't really know you want him until you need him. So just grab his shards. 450 each time, it might seem a lot when you want something like gear you won't regret it in the long run. Okay, so we have looked at your first order, I'm just going to skip down a bit more. Let's go to Galactic Republic. So, like I said, we've seen your Bad Batch. I'm a bit curious on Clone Wars Chewie. Um, you don't seem to have Padme, so let me just double check that. Have you got a baby Padme? No. So I'm not entirely sure why Clone Wars Chewie is that well built, um, unless it's just for laugh. Um, Grandmaster Yoda at, uh, Gear 11. That's where Tamins is, so I can't say anything there. I, I should take mine higher, but I can understand anyone who's got bigger priorities. Um, but yeah, the rest looks like hyperdrive stuff, so I'm not going to go too much into detail there, except for, you know, you've just basically got what you need at this point, or what you feel you need. Uh, Geos, okay, lacking in this department. Um, yeah, Geonosians obviously will help with the Watt missions, so when you can, try and spare some time for them. Um, as it looks like you're going heavily for a SLKR farm straight from the off, so I'm not judging that. Like I say, if you've got if you've got a target in mind, then you're doing well with it for the first order. But I'd make Geos a priority once you've got time, because you want to be able to contribute to Watt Shard. So that'd be my advice. Again, we're going to scroll down, just go to the Imperial Troopers. We've had a quick glance at them, but Viz could do the Zeta to just make this team a bit more threatening, but in general, you've got something to work with there. Also, a bit like what I said with um, Logre, just try and get some Stark Shards whenever you see them. They really do help out. Okay, I'm not expecting Jawas, but we've got anything. Okay. <laughs> Always worth having a look. Jedi. Um, okay, Bastler at 5 star from the hyperdrive. I think that would be safe to say with all these. So, yeah, no big surprises. You got your 5 star Yoda. Let's move on. Uh, Mandalorians, yeah, you got your 5 star Django. 5 star Mando. 5 star Sabine. You got a 3 star armor and bow. Oddly enough, you could form an okay Mandalorian team. I mean, in GA, so that's something. Uh, with that in mind, I'd be tempted if you've got one spare to put a Zeta on the armor and bow, just so that they've got some extra punch. But honestly, it's not going to make or break your Grand Arena, so take that with a pinch of salt. I know Zetas are very hard to come by. It's just one of them things where, you know, if you were using this on defense, or even on offense, having the Zetas, it does help a bit, especially with the armor. I would actually call the armor of Zeta one of the best in the game at the moment, as far as just giving... Being able to give retribution essentially to a character is a fantastic ability. Okay, so let's see, we've got Night Sisters. Gear 10. Your zombie probably won't last too long, but it should be able to do a job. And you've got your Night Sisters around from the Hyperdrive bundle, that will do something. So, yeah, that's interesting to see. Uh, Old Republic, anything in the works here? No, just Bastel in T3. Let's move on. 
Phoenix. Okay, so you used your level 80 Phoenix to get Thrawn unlocked, and you've got two at seven star, and you've got the other three at six star. Ezra's languishing at five. Um, I would, I would say Ezra's a good one to farm. I mean, if you want to try and do it without Ezra, I'm not going to say you can't. Uh, especially as Sabine is probably the harder farm. But yeah, um, you want a 7 star thrown in the long game, so I don't know how many resources you're putting into getting Phoenix done. But yeah, you're putting work into it. Alright, let's go down again. What rebels have you got besides those? Um, you've got Stormtrooper on to 7. You've got your raid on at 7 star, very nice. I didn't touch check, have you got General Kenobi? I'm going backwards a bit here, but did you get GK? No GK yet, so you haven't uh, gone from the tank raid yet. I thought I'd just check that. So, you've obviously got enough from the pit raid. Um, half Rebel Scout at 7 star, that's not bad considering, you know, you do get a 5 star one from the Hyperdrive bundle, but you've invested a bit there, so nicely done. Well, either that or you got a good drop on the, uh, the Bronzium unlock, but uh, either way, that'll do you some good. Uh, Princess Slayer at 5 star and Farm Boy Luke at 5 star and Old Ben at 5 star. Yeah, um, if you want CLS, they'll need the stars, but. Again, SLK arm seems to be a priority, so they aren't a priority. <laughs> um, but yeah, just keep plowing on in that regard. You've got your Chew at 5 star, I did overloop that, well done doing that. Uh, I'm a bit surprised the Bounty Hunters you've got have been able to do it, but I'm pleasantly surprised, so well done on that. Okay, I'm going to skip Rebel Fighters because they're pretty much the same as what we've seen. Um, you can't get Rage Jedi training yet because you need to put more stars into Bob into the event tune, so you've got uh, Vet Smugglers at 5, Ray at 5, Finn at 5, and bb 8 at 7, so you've got 1 at 7. <laughs> so once again, when you got the time, give them some stars, but the Hyperdrive Bundle sort of does half the work for you, so it shouldn't be too hard to farm when you're ready. Okay, we are pretty much at the bottom already, but we'll carry on, so Separatist, pretty much what we've seen already, um, yeah, not a lot to really add here unfortunately. Okay, just carry on. How about you, Sith? Okay, so we saw Vader earlier, we saw Palpatine earlier, and we did see a lot of this in your arena team, so I'm looking and thinking Bastila, 2 star, if it, she's not a priority it doesn't really make sense using her in arena. Um, but yeah, as far as this, I don't think it's worth using it in arena just because you've got a gear 12 character carrying it. So, I, I like Palpatine, but if you're not going to have a Zeta on the lead as well, that's a big miss. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm buying the arena team, unfortunately. And then, yeah, we are at the bottom. So, I'm going to just go up to the top of the list, and we're just going to have a quick look at the top tunes mods. So, let's have a look. So, you've got six stop mods on your Kylo Ren on Mast. Health, defense, health bit of crit chance which I don't think is bad with Kylo's lead, yet he gets crit damage so a bit of crit chance isn't the worst thing. Um, you've got speed, primary, defense and protection. You don't really need the potency that much on crew and you don't really need offense but overall they are good stats. If you're going to the diamond, bit of speed. Tenacity is not the worst in this situation, protection is better. Uh, let's go here. Offense primary you don't really need. So I recognize it's a defense mod, but you didn't really need the um, offense. Uh, two health mods though kind of compensate for that. Tenacity isn't bad. Uh, I just wouldn't really prioritize it. Um, speed, very nice, very nice. Uh, protection, again, tenacity. I'm not sure if that's deliberate or if it just so happens to be in all the mods you've gone for. And then looking at the cross, you've got health primary, speed, health, defense. Yeah, so you've got some good secondaries there. Um, if we look at the stats overall, we've got 96k, that's a nice little health pool. Uh, 225 speed, you don't need a fast Kylo, so that's not too bad. Um, if we're looking here, everything's looking quite alright. Uh, how's your armor? Armor's just a little shy of where you might want it at Relic 7. Um, the aim I would say is that if you're going to go for armor, you want say 72%, so you're just a little bit shy. And to be honest, you could probably rectify that by getting a defense primary there, and maybe a few more defense secondaries. So it's easily rectifiable, but that would probably be the only thing I'd uh, change with Kylo Ren on Mast. 
Okay, so if we move on to OG Kylo. You've got crit damage and health mods. Let's have a look. Offense. Defense is, uh, isn't as important, but okay. Uh, let's see, you've got speed, offense, offense, defense, protection. They're okay. Defense, speed, offense. A bit of health and tenacity doesn't hurt. Uh, crit damage makes a bit of sense because, as I discovered recently, Lash Out, um, it can't critically hit, but it deals bonus damage equal to 50% of Kylo Ren's critical damage. So, having crit damage does benefit Kylo in a weird way. So, yep, crit damage, offense. Uh, defense and tenacity can't really help because the other mod, the, the other secondary stats are okay, so, yeah, fair enough there. Uh, ooh, very nice. Could do a rolling more speed, really, but as far as the offense and the offense, I like it, so a bit unlucky with the speed. And then potency, speed, yeah, I like this. Crit chance doesn't hurt, protection, so it's only really the tenacity that isn't needed, but again, tenacity isn't bad on Kylo Ren. So overall, just looking at this, yeah, I would say this is a nice little build. You like the potency on uh, Kylo for the Outrage special. Um, but yeah, I would say this looks like a good Kylo build for the most part. I can't really nitpick. Um, let's just have a quick look at Vader. Ooh, again, this is why I'm not really sure why you're using the, the Sith for team in Arena. Um, but yeah, just carrying on. Inspiring through fear, you don't really need that Zeta if you're not going to use him as a lead, so that's a wise choice. As far as the mods, um, okay speed there, we've got crit chance, so that's nice. Uh, let's have a look, we've got offense primary, okay, that's different. Um, 14 speed, uh, if you could roll it, that wouldn't be bad, potentially, you know, but you'd have to get, you, if you got a plus 5 on that 14, you go up to 19, so really the only thing, if you got two 5 rolls, you could get up to 24, but I'm not sure if that's really plausible <laughs> so file that under maybe maybe it could come good but don't hold your hopes out <laughs> um, as far as these I'm unfortunately not expecting a lot we've got speed we've got a bit of potency and offense and so not too bad I'll take my words back there uh, crit damage that could roll quite well when that rolls you get a nice bump uh, speed offense potency I do like that crit chance somewhere in these mods would be nice I don't I think we've seen it once I don't think we've seen it twice yet so let's see, you got a bit of crit chance there, that's nice. No speed though, so it, it, you sort of get a bit of compensation with the offense, but honestly, if that defense mo uh, secondary had been speed, you would have been quite good for rolling whatever there. So very unlucky. But that is nice. Ideally, you would have had another offense, uh, offense percentage there, but honestly, that mod itself is quite nice. So um, yeah, very nice looking at that. Overall, quite a snail to be honest. 168 gear 12. You could be, you should be pushing 200 at least at this point. Um, crit damage, I believe that is okay. It might go up a little bit when you've got your triangle at six dot plus uh, when Vader is at rally level. So work to be done there, I'd say. Uh, plus the crit chance will go up at the same time as well. So definitely work to be done on Vader. After that, I am going to leave it because a lot of the stats are not going to be at what I would think are desirable levels. So, for instance, it's a bit hard to comment on a Django Fett at Gear 11 just for the fact that a Django Fett at Gear 11 is different to a Rally Django. So, I am going to leave mods there just for the fact I don't think there's much else to talk about. As far as ships, um, I did see you using a certain fleet when we started this. Yeah, we're talking about a first order fleet under Executrix, so it's not bad considering you're essentially farming for Finalizer. So let's have a look at your Finalizer ship. So you've got Silencer done, TIE Advanced has been worked on. The Command Shuttle's only 4 star, but I'm assuming you're working on that, that's why you're getting Scion Shards. Uh, Slave 1, yep, Slave 1's not a bad shout as well, obviously, for the event. Uh, tie, TIE Fighter Pilot you need, so yeah, that's another one. You don't need special forces, but if you're going to use a finalizer fleet, it's a better starter than the TIE Fighter, so getting this one built up is a good idea. Um, and then I believe it is the Bounty Hunter ship, so you've got IG at 5, you've got Xanadu at 5, and what's the one more? I may have forgotten. I don't know if you needed Hounds 2 for to that level. Uh, offhand, anyway. 
I can't check in the main game either. But yeah, it does seem in general like your finalizer progress is going well. Um, I think the issue will be just getting that command shuttle built up. So you've currently got a seven star Scion thanks to the hyperdrive bundle and then doing the farming. So just remember, you're going to be getting charge up currency from Scion, so you can just keep plowing that into the uh, gearing that you're doing. But yeah, how I view it, just keep going for that ship. That one ship is the hardest part of the finalizer requirements in my humble opinion. So just keep working at it, even if you have to put two or three refreshes in a day. Um, the downside to saying that is you're 1458 in arena, so you're probably not getting a lot of crystals a day. So my pr my biggest advice to you would be just try and get just try and get first order in arena. It might help you climb. I'm not going to guarantee it, but I would be surprised if it didn't help you climb a little bit to set at least. Um, as far as the fleet you're using, I'm going to say it might not do you good for a while, let's be honest. You're probably going to have to have a finalizer to see the true benefit to it. So, yeah, that's why I'm again saying just try and get command shuttle up. But yeah, um, as far as your roster goes, I can definitely see a clear focus. That's why I'm a bit surprised by your arena team. But as far as what you're actually working on, I think you've got some good progress. I think you're still a couple of months away from actually seeing anything positive from that progress. But the way I see it, if you just keep your head down, if you just keep farming the first order tunes and their gear each day, you will get there. So just keep at it. Alright, so I'm just talking to people in general at this point, but if you've enjoyed listening to this, let me know in the comments. If there's anything that you haven't actually heard me say that you think would be worth pointing out to Helix, please let me know in the comments, that way Helix as well can benefit, and I might learn something as well. But other than that, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, folks. Thank you.